Yeah, hello. We're here. We're here at the tower. Um, we're leaving. <laughs> we're leaving again. <laughs> we showed up just to leave again. <laughs> Listen, we'll we are gonna do that like almost right off the bat. Uh, but apparently, there might be uh some specific elements that we might want to take with us before the tower. I was just reading. Presumably. Okay. We want a couple of these. We don't need 11 of these. Are these Traps? like one? Yeah, are these like one each? It doesn't really matter. We only really need one of each. I'll get another one anyway. Um, um I don't no, I never really played the game to the point where I would need to use traps to catch uh, spells. Let's get a couple of I don't these. know if they're consumable. They are consumable. You do consume them. Two of these. Two of these. Um, two of these. Thanks, baby. You're welcome, honey. All right, now we can go back to the tower. <laughs> We're almost at the end of the game, Lost Joke. This is the last dungeon of the game. This is it. Save the game again real quick. Save yet again. I mean, every time I forget to save, something bad happens, so... We are saving Yon Game. Which one was I using? This one, apparently. Alright, go. Return to the beginning. I know someone watching wants me to replace Kid with someone else, but you know what? Honestly? It doesn't matter. <laughs> At this point, it doesn't really matter. Replace kid with who, though? They want me to grab Fargo back again. But uh, because Fargo apparently is stronger, I guess. Has Fargo has Vigora, but like, eh. here's the thing: we're we're very over leveled. Like, I, you know, it is possible we can lose. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm trying not to be super like overconfident, but like. The game ain't that hard, and I'd rather have Kid with me, for sentimental reasons. Um, the overlands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? I, um, I've, I've made a mistake already. Already you've made a mistake. Already I've made a mistake. Uh, I, I'm gonna try to run if I can. <laughs> I didn't even see who it was. It doesn't matter. Uh, I got those friggin' traps for a reason. And I forgot to put them on. I mean, I didn't forget to put them on. I thought I was gonna be able to put them on, you know, right away. But apparently this is... I think this is a boss. Um, allocate. Uh, who wants it? You? No, probably not you. Uh, probably Glenn. Or Surge, either way. There we go. Uh, we're gonna put earthquake and cool. okay. Let's try this again. Did did you just are you are you back or is it? Are we gonna fight or okay? Let's fight again. No take back seas this time. We fight. For real. Um Glenn. Hit this guy a couple times, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I need to be hold on, back again. Oh, for God's sake, Glenn! I shouldn't have given it to, to him. Um, I need a couple more. You know, I'll just hit him again. I'm being stared at. I think the cat is hungry. Well, cat can wait until we're done with this game. Ow! Ow! Stop! Okay, you can stop now. Thank you. Jesus. Be right back a moment. Don't kill him too fast. I mean, kill him as fast as I uh, would like. Glenn, I need you to do this for me. Is it a, is it like one more? There it is. Um, let's just cure on myself real quick, and everybody else is going to defend. Defend. Yeah? <laughs> Ow. It's a good thing I healed. Holy crap. Um. Friend. Jesus. Uh, we're just gonna defend. Should I wait for Lost Joke to get back? You know what? Do it. Lost Joke. Alright, I'll do it. Search might actually die. Jeez, how many hit attacks do you get? I know, it's like ridiculous. Um, defend it's like, again. It's like whenever you play the original Pokemon and Jesus. you're going up against like a Jigglypuff who has, what was it, Slap? And they get to go all five times, whereas you, yours that also has Slap only gets twice. Is this guy going to cast his thing or not? It's been full yellow field for a while now. Friggin' do it already. <laughs> Please. We're going to have to try this again. Because this guy refuses to cast his, his special. Just friggin' do it. Just do it already. Unless it's a case of I should have waited and not stole from him. Is that the case? Should I have not stole? How, how would I have known that, though? How That'd be a weird condition. It would be a weird condition, but I could absolutely see it being a condition in this game. It would be dumb, but I could see it being a thing. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna die and we're just gonna start over again. I think I'll I think I did maybe steal too 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 fast. I think maybe if I didn't steal, he would have done it already. Because, yeah, he's... The thing is... The field has been yellow this whole time, and he just isn't doing it. He's not even... He's not even casting any offense and stuff. Well, he does cast the Omega yellow, but... I'm pretty sure it's the name of the Pokemon game. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna have to do this again. I... I think it's because I stole from him. The guide yeah, says, he wait until he casts it and then steal. But I thought that was just like a, you know, don't do any, like, don't kill him before he does it kind of thing. But apparently, no, I think the guide meant, like, don't steal from him until he does it. Which yes, it would have been nice if mad. they had worded it that way. You know, just saying. It would have been nice if they had worded it that way. Is this our... How many deaths is this? This is like four or five. No, it can't be five. Yeah. I, it, well, it's at least four. It's at least four. Uh, lost joke. Yes. 
I have to AFK a second. Again? Yeah, I do. Uh, you have to. Um, yeah, let me just uh pick up the controller. Entertain. Just you have to entertain playing. people. You have to entertain I people. Can't... Lost joke. I can't be entertaining. I'm having dinner. You can be That's entertaining. Well, entertaining. you better. Well, tell people about your dinner. Uh, I'm going by. And like that, he's gone. When will he return to us from the war? Look, listen, he's just going to go get some milk and cigarettes. He'll be back. He said he's going to be back. Trust me. This is all not at all for foreboding abandonment. He wouldn't just leave us and never come back. The silence is deafening. Father, when would you return to us? Keeping our solitary vigil on the edge of this spire. Living spire, even. It does have wings. With our weird floating canoe. Yep. Hello, I'm back. Father, you've returned. Where's the milk you know, and cigarettes? I always, I always try to drain the old oil tank before the stream, but sometimes, you know, when you go, when you gotta go, you gotta go. You're leaking coolant at an alarming rate. Would you like <laughs> me to patch that up for you? I'm gonna give this to Surge instead of Glenn. Uh, God, I should have just. There we go. Surge, have uh, instead of earthquake, have trap earthquake. Instead of magma burst, have trap golem. Trap golem. Right again. So don't steal from him. I am gonna hit him with kid enough to um, kid and surge enough to cast these. Uh, and and then you know and then steal from him, but I won't steal from him until he casts it. Also, go ahead and uh, save us a little bit of time <laughs> by making a cheeky save, just in case this doesn't happen again. All right, try again. Uh, Territor. Did I actually give... Mm. Did they explain what the additional colored orbs are? No. I know what the additional color orbs are, but they never really explained it. Salt and Pepper, where are you? You're supposed to explain new mechanics to us. Uh, I will say this much. Um, it is a new mechanic, but it has yet to actually be used. They haven't actually used it. It's, it's not usable right now. This particular mechanic. I'm going to go ahead and attack him a couple times. Right. Ow! Wow. I was just thinking that I wonder if I actually switched um, kids' armor back to regular prison armor. <laughs> I don't think I did. Are you going to run yet again and waste I, I this, might, this poor enemy's time? I might have to. I'm just waiting for him to freaking do his cast. He, like, refuses to do it. I think 
kid's gonna die. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I am gonna have to restart. I I can't have kid die. She's has she has to steal from him. <laughs> but look, we can just go right here. Um, you know what? This actually isn't the best place because um, I need to I need to do kid's armor. You know what? That's fine because we can just run away immediately. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Are we going to do this for real this time? I guess No. Not. No, sorry. Well, I mean, I'd love to actually kill you for real if you would friggin' cast your summon. Which you seemingly Listen. don't do. Like an Listen. asshole. Fighting is a dance. That is merely a step. Oh, she does have prison mail on. Why is she taking so much damage? Well, guess what? <laughs> what her yellow plate are. Try again. <laughs> Alright. Again. I don't believe you. This is why I have trust issues. <laughs> He's healing. She healed himself once. Uh huh. I mean, we're yellow now, so if you would like to cast Golem. I play a trap card down, face down in defense mode. Do I have to, like, get him down to a certain, like, life? I w didn't think so, but... I mean, there's no reason for you to not hit him, I guess. Well, I have to not kill him until he casts it. Just... Just touch him lightly. I mean, I'm about to. I'm about to... Gently. Hit the shit out of this guy. For you. Get screwed. Because I can't heal myself because I don't want to get rid of yellow. He needs to have all three yellows. Do we have uh, some yellow plates we could cheese? I only have one. There is only one yellow play in the game, and it's on Kid right now. Uh, you know what I could do? Do I have any? I do. Capsule or capsule surge. That's yellow. It's not much, but it's something. I'm defending. Uh, Glenn, do you have any capsules? He doesn't. I can already tell that he doesn't. Well, yes. You can see. That might be dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's, he's super down. Are, are we really missing something? I, I feel like I must be, but like... Like the the field is in his favor, and he is not. He is not doing, doing it. it. He's just not doing it. We're gonna we're gonna spend the whole stream time getting this guy to do what we want. Just defend. I feel like he's already kind of low. Yeah, I don't know what what the deal is with this guy. Unless it's a, is it the wrong enemy? Is it the wrong enemy? Did I read this guy's name right or wrong? No, it's this guy. <sighs> Let's see what it says. Uh... The real challenge of these battles is trying to get them to use the rare elements so that you can trap them. Yeah, oh, no so... <laughs> I, um... I, I feel like, yes, I guess the challenge... It, it is technically a challenge, but it's not really. It's just trying to get them to do it. 
that is entirely out of your control. RNG is not a challenge. This just says like hit him. Like don't don't use, you know. Don't use elements. Leave it yellow and hit him. If we win, okay. if we kill this guy, if we kill this guy. Is he slumping? It looks like he's slumping. He died. We killed him. Do you want to try it one more time? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because, like, we can... Just by t attacking alone, we can kill him. Yeah, that's the problem. Again, I'm, I'm speaking to that guy who was like, Don't use kids, she's so weak. This is how easy this game is right now. It doesn't matter if kid's weak. I don't care if kid's weak. This is this is where we're at right now. That we where that we, we have to not hit this guy. <laughs> we have to hold back. Okay, I have to get up to it's either six or seven for a golem. Uh, is it six? No, it's seven. All right. Um, I'm gonna have Glenn just defend and do nothing else. Kid can um, maybe be our healer and use up some of her um capsules, uh, uh, capsules because he can't really hurt Kid that much. Um, At all. I'm gonna. She has I'm gonna plate. Yeah, I'm gonna attack at least enough so that she can steal immediately when uh, when it's time. But otherwise, I'm just gonna have her defend. And we're also we're, so so we're trying to steal something from it and and, and trap an ability. Yes. And he might just kill Glenn again. But honestly, I don't really care that much if he kills Glenn as long as we get the ability. I have not, especially when the field is all yellow, I have not seen that under 400. I think he only does it when the field's all yellow. Well, no reason to heal Glenn anymore. Jesus. I'm about to give up on this, though. I'm not going to spend all night on this. If, if he's not going to do it, I'm just going to give up. I don't care. Thank you. All that damage healed. I know if only I had a um another yellow plate for surge. I and mean, this would just be like me defending until nothing, you know, until he does it. Does Surge have that much extra defense than uh kid? Uh I forget what he's wearing. He's just wearing prison stuff. But he might... I don't know if he has something else. He's just not going to do it. I'm, I might actually look it up real quick and see if there's anything that we can do to, like, goad him into doing it. Uh, in the meantime, let's give Surge a capsule. An infinitely famous 90s sugary drink surge. Sure, you get to do it twice in a row. Why not? The boss is always uh, cheap. I mean, yes. A lot of time, game designers make it so that their boss, the tough fights, are actually sort of cheating. I know some bosses in some fighting games that are definitely cheap. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look it up right now because I feel like I'm just wasting my time otherwise. <laughs> so, Are we okay. forgetting something? No. 
the the, no. the person who wrote the guide again the premium uh brady games uh guide that cost 15 dollars originally uh when it was new um is wrong this guy doesn't cast gold <laughs> so we this so we're just wasting cast our gold. time we are just wasting our time i'm going to um reload and we're just gonna Wait. kill this guy i'm gonna steal from him because he does have the yellow brooch which we want but Otherwise, we're just going to kill him. <laughs> so we're just going to go straight to bullying. Yes. Wait, let me guess. Man, it's like a, the next boss. What a huge waste of time. What a stupid waste of time that is. Thanks, Brady Games, for being completely wrong. Oh my god, kid. It's fine. I mostly ended up with the, the strategy guide, mostly for the artwork, not so much. Well, I guess I intended to use it as a, as a bit of a direction but i didn't realize how wrong it is yeah a lot of the old ones are like just flat out wrong sometimes it's really annoying all right we're just gonna destroy this man ow ow okay thank you I keep. I feel like they should have a better angle or just pose Masamune better because I don't really see it at a glance. I just kind of see a jelly man. <laughs> a lot of Toriyama's designs can be weird when when put into 3D. It's like they're not really meant for it, you know. I feel like these days people have kind of gotten. Yes. The understanding on how to get yes to translate Toriyama into a 3D space. Thank you. Like oh, Sandland, I think Sandland is like a really like also the most recent example of Toriyama style, but in a 3D space. Which reminds me, I still need to pick up. I've heard Sandland, the game is is kind of just okay. I've heard, like, the story yeah. and stuff is pretty good, but, like, I've heard that the actual game is just kind of, eh. I have the no Death idea what Blow to expect. The machine invented by Luca. Let's see what it looks like. We haven't actually used it yet. <laughs> Jesus. It certainly did the death blow. Screw this guy and screw Brady Games for being completely wrong and wasting my time. I don't call it wasting time. I call it padding for time. <laughs> that was a good maybe 30-ish minutes. God, 30 minutes for this one guy. The thing is, none of the none of these bosses are going to be. Look, we got Yellowfield. None of these bosses are going to be hard for us. It's it's like the the challenge is getting them to use their freaking thing. Assuming they do, because as it turns out, they might not. They might not. Sure, sure. Nostril. Nostril. That's actually what I read in my head when I first saw that was nostril. <laughs> Bump. Um, one second. Let me. What's what's around here? What am I? What am I looking for? What um... am I looking at? All right, well, it's just, you know, just stuff. We'll just, you know, be careful not to fight any bosses before we get our stuff. 
fight these guys though. If they there we go. I honestly thought that I was gonna run under that guy, but uh, I did not. I thought we would be halfway through this dungeon by now. I mean we could have if uh Honestly I don't information proper. Yeah, if Brady Games wasn't wrong. I, I could honestly just not go after the summons. I'm not gonna use them, and they're hard to use in the first place. So I could just say screw it and like not care and we could like blow through this dungeon. I do want the loot that we can find here though. back on. That uh, chest is something I want over there. Magnificent chest ahead. This does kind of, the staircase does seem very in Orlando. <laughs> These guys, do these guys have anything cool? We'll find out. Gimme. Oh, those are individual things. I bet they are were they? a part of it. Pilfer. What did I get? Waste pad? Is that what that said? Uh, yeah, I saw waste and then pad? Also, I wouldn't have expected this thing to have red element. I think they have red. I think one's red and one's blue. So, um, I'll use white <laughs> because. <laughs> Can't protect against that. Puzzle beam! Well, maybe they're both red and blue. Alright, can I have I a I think they now? just both know. Jesus. America! Just doing this just so, just so it... It's not uh, full red anymore. It did kill him, though. By the way, we got Nostrum. more Nostrum. Those are um, the high-level uh, healing things, like capsule and tablet. Get rid of the uh, throwing my traps. That are useless right now. I just had Earthquake. God, sword. Please, just sword. There we go. And then. Oh, look, I have another uh, slot here. Um. What do I. Well, don't do that. No! 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 Why can't you go over to the side? It's not letting me go over to the side anymore. <laughs> What's going on right now? All right. Jesus. Always works. Always works. Well, now that I have another slot here, I can put Saints here, although I don't know if I'll ever actually have occasion to use it. When the um, Saints go marching in. Let's go ahead and put Meteor Shower here. And we'll go ahead and put... Uh, let's put something else. Let's put like a red... I was using Inferno here, actually. Any other slots that I'm missing? No, we're good for now. Uh, Glenn, do you have any new slots? I think he does, actually. Let's give him something other than green. Let's give him, like, a blue or a red. Uh... I guess we'll give him an... Well, let's give him a blue. Let's give him an ice lance. Ice lance plus like five. And it's five. Alright, and then, so, uh... Kid. Does Kid have any extra slots? She does actually have another slot up here. Uh, 
Salamander. We actually had to. We actually got to use it. Um. I'm gonna reduce some of her elements real quick. All right. Well, you're managing inventory. I need more chicken and rice. Okay. to fight any of these guys. Oh, this ain't to fight this guy. Just one lone man. One lone jelly man. Spawn them himself. Plasma beam. Plasma beam. Plasma beam. Hey, he spent all that time setting up plasma beam to be all red, and now here I am ruining your life. This is how I feel when I'm trying to use summons. This is what it's like. Uh, giving the game a taste of its own medicine. Uh, might as well just do this. Dead. go back up and go the other way and see if I can get to the other chest over there before we continue I don't know I don't know the the structure of this dungeon I don't know if it's one of those where like if you go too far you can't go back you know what I mean you can never go back and I don't want to miss this chest so we're going back No music here. It's kind of disconcerting. It is too quiet. I assume it's going to be up here somewhere. Ooh, it's not. Ooh. Ew. Ew. So it doesn't actually look like I can go anywhere else at the moment. Maybe we'll come out there. All right. Well. I've just wasted my time. And yours. Not me! That's okay. That is okay. These guys don't really seem to care that we're here. I mean, they attack us if we run into them, but they don't really care. I mean, otherwise. wouldn't you also be hostile if some stranger pumps into you? I mean, not really. I'd be like, oh, sorry about that, man. I, you know. I'm generally not the kind of guy who will get hostile if someone accidentally bumps into me like, Hey, watch where you're going! You see Asshole. me walking here. You see me walking like, I'm not here. Really, I'm not really that kind of guy. I might be, but I also don't leave the house. So you don't know if you are or not. I could be hostile. I can be 
bite the asshole. <clears throat> can you? I can be. Looks like places to go up here. Looks like the only place to actually go is up here, so... Excuse me, sir. I need to get up here. Thank you. More of this oddly delicious looking uh, walkway. I don't know what this is. Some kind of meat. Some kind of cooked meat. Mysterious wall meat. Where are we? Castlevania? What is this? It's just like a climbable thing, but like... There's nothing but why? here. I know, it's like not actually a thing. Look, like another climbable thing, but it's not. It's not really a thing. Uh, that might be a way to go. What's over here? Oh, I guess we'll go over here. Sup, bud? Sup, weird. Oddly fat Please, um, bat. Listen, the bat. Eats very well. Eats all this meat, this meat walkway. <laughs> well, those poor bats. They died. They're super dead. But at least they uh, they died with full bellies. Perhaps it, the full belly was truly their undoing. This isn't a way to go. Is that a chest? What is that? It's a chest. Uh, anything over <clears throat> here? No. Anything Secrets. down here? Secrets. No, not really. There could be some... Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Too busy looking, like, on the edge of the screen. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a woot! Woot! Uh, woot! It's a woot! I cannot hit this boot. He's very elusive. Owl eyes. Uh huh. Hey, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna try to steal from the woot, I think. Woot! Yoink. What do you have, woot? Trashy tiara. <laughs> Again? Okay, you do you. I'm going to, um... Uh, you do you, do you, boo. I'll hit, I'll hit one more time. And then... I will flying arrow the woot. died. He's dead. He stole his crappy hat, and then we killed him. Alright. Seem to have surprise visitors in my house, which is why I got Again. up and also closed my door.
Constantly. Constantly you have visitors in your house. Well, uh, considering th- uh, what things have happened here, we also kind of have a bit, of, a lot of food. And just between two people in the house, we can't really eat all of it, so we've kind of been inviting family over to also eat it. Constant visitations. Constant cogitations. I don't, I don't mind family or people coming to visit. It's um, you. it's the the family kids that are a, a bit of a bother because they are very rambunctious. Uh. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, nope. Tunes we're just moment. okay, and and we're dead. We died. The end. Huh. All right. <laughs> well. Okay then. Guess we're going this way. Surge, surge. Yes. Hi, uh, it's me. <clears throat> you finally made it this far, surge. What was that? Are you human? Do I look like I'm human? I'm a stone face, you idiot. When I was still human, I was locked up here, and I have been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. With the defeat of fate, this seal has been broken, and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed abnormally to three times the original size in the span of three million years. Yes? We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos' flame. In a sense, you don't say. mankind is Lavos' offspring. Eh, that's stretching it a little bit. No, no. No, no. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Surge? Um, um, I'm going to hit him a couple times and then cast an element. We'll just do that until, the, until they die. Hit them but, until they stop moving. That's like, okay, that's not what, that's not really what, what I meant, but okay, okay, that's good, I guess. I will, I will fight with violence, preferably. <laughs> So what that guy is telling me, I see a chest up there. So what that guy is telling me is that I am indeed correct about my um, wonderings about the um, the story, about the way the story is going, about the plot. Tell me about the plot. Do you want me to refresh your memory about the plot? No. Do you need me to? Because I will. I mean, I mean, you know, it's it's a bit convoluted, to be fair. You are a bit convoluted, to be yeah. fair. Defender Plus. What is Defender Plus? It has to be an equip, right? It's be like a one of these. Waste Pad is plus defense. It's pretty good defense, actually. Defender Plus improves. Defense, evade, and magic, which is actually pretty nice, but, um, I'm okay. Uh, maybe, um, maybe Kid could use it, because she kind of takes a lot of damage. This looks kind of like a like an Elden Ringer or like a Dark Souls area. Um, uh, Elden Ring, yes, very That's much okay. so. Hmm, I see that chest up there. Let me go down to the other door and see where that leads. Because again, I don't want to like push too far and end up stuck and like not being able to get back. I know how these games are. I've played a video game or two in my time. Only two. Hey! Pack of lies. What is a pack of lies? Man. A man. It's a man, yeah. That's right. 
Is it a weapon? It is a weapon. The function of these cards is unbelievable. Who uses cards? Uh, the gambler. Who's the gambler? Neff. Sneff. He, he was a magician, I thought. Well, I think he uses cards as a as his weapon. I think your face uses cards as a weapon. No, my face I cannot think, hold things. I think Gambit uses cards as a weapon. Oh, I'm about to make a name for myself. <laughs> Funny thing, Channing Tatum, who I believe played Gambit in a did Origins. Yeah, in Wolverine Origins, I believe. Wait, he he was in Origins as well. I thought that's where he was from. I thought that's where he played Gambit. No, I thought he, I thought that was played by someone else. I'm going to look that up. But you look it up. Um, Channing Tatum actually wanted to have him have a thicker accent, so he wanted to turn. He wanted to dial hey. up the Creole. Mm. Makes sense. And make him make him even more unintelligible. He has a decently thick accent in the cartoon, which I think is good. Yeah. Let's see. So which movie did, was he in? He was in the Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, okay. Who did the, the who, most who, recent one? Who did um? Who did Wolverine in in Origins then, or uh, who did um, who did uh, uh, Gambit in Origins? So I know he was in that. No, it, no, it definitely wasn't. Uh, Taylor, uh, catch. Is that the guy from? Is that the guy from the vampire movies? No, you're thinking of um, Taylor Laudner. Yeah. He uh, he played John Carter in the John Carter movie. Which oh, was that guy. Space. Yeah, that guy. He was Gambit. Ah, okay. He was in Battleship. He was uh, the main, the the type, one of the main cast for Battleship. He was the Battleship in Battleship. Yes, he was the Battleship. Uh, I have not actually seen Battleship. I have a uh, little tidbit about me. It is the first and so far only Blu-ray I've actually... No, no, it's not the only Blu-ray. But it's the first Blu-ray I've ever bought. And I specifically bought it. I uh, I did see John Carter. Do you um, want to know why And I thought it was actually it? good. And it's dumb that they never like continued with those. Well, it, Disney marketing is to blame for why they didn't Yeah, Disney those. marketed it really badly. Uh, you know, it, It's like they didn't want it to succeed. Anyway, do you know why I bought the specific Blu-ray of Battleship? Tell I me. wanted the most highest definition I could get of um, basically the the USS Missouri from this film because I was drawing a joke. Yeah. yeah. I, I was making at the at at the time I think as your lane was really popular and then there was another ship gotcha game that was really popular at the time why did you cast that <laughs> so i was making a joke about the 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 anime girls as ships Be i see and i wanted battleship because it was specifically a joke about battleship I, I was I was making a, like a little bit of a multi-layer joke, and I thought to myself, I'm making a really I'm putting a lot of effort in for a very small joke that probably not anyone's really gonna get. Maybe not. Maybe not. Do you remember your first? Uh, I don't remember my first Blu-ray. I actually remember. So I was an unfortunate early adopter, and I actually still to this day have some HD DVDs. A friend of mine specifically preferred the HD DVDs. In fact, he has, I believe, every cop, every released HD DVD movie, like when they were first coming out. I think he has every one. I don't have that many. I have a few, um, but of course, I, you know, I bought the 360 uh, player, right? The the HD DVD player for the 360. And, and I um, think it was just an unfortunate thing that gave him the edge was uh, setting up with Sony. Blu-ray, Probably, rather. yeah. That was probably what did it. I mean, Sony helped majorly with uh, DVD adoption as well. Because PlayStation 2 had a DVD player in it. 
and that was during a time when not a lot of people had DVD players. But they yes, had uh, the PlayStation PSUs. was at the time the cheapest Blu-ray player you could get. So it also being a, a video I game thought. console sort of like sweetened the deal uh, and make it made it more appealing for families because it was a DVD, a Blu-ray DVD player and a games console. Um, it was just kind of set up to succeed a lot better than HD did. So I know, uh, so I have the Matrix. Uh, actually, I think I have all, is it all three Matrixes or just the one? It might have just been the one Matrix movie. I don't remember if the other ones were out yet. Um, I have the Matrix on DVD. I had like Blade Runner. There was a, um, you know, a, a, a while ago when, uh, down here. I thought maybe I could climb up there. I think this is going to be a whole thing where I'm going to have to like figure out where to fall to climb up to a certain place. Um, but I had, uh, there was a time when Blade Runner was like getting its like final cut kind of thing going on. And, um, yet, yet another definitive re-release collection. Well, this was, cut. no, this was the first, this is like the first kind of major one. Um, this is years ago. Um, and, uh, and it came in like this really nice, I have like the, the really nice like box set where it had a, um, uh, uh, it, it comes in like a briefcase. It has like a little, a little car, like a little matchbox, like like spinner car. Yeah. And um, and I got it in HD DVD. <laughs> That's the version that I got. Uh, I'm gonna go back down. Is Let's that a door. format that can even be read these days? No, anymore? no. You need a you need an HD DVD player to to play it anymore. Um, luckily, uh. They did do a trade-in program, and so I actually traded in most, if not all, of my HD DVDs, and they sent me Blu-ray versions back. So I do actually have, so I do have that that disc, the Blade Runner like disc, the special edition disc in Blu-ray form, along with the Matrix. Um, but I, but the actual box, like the full like box with all the stuff, it says HD DVD because that's what I have. But do you? But anyway, that was all a side thing because I because I just don't remember the actual first Blu-ray that I got. Um, but I remember the first DVD that I got. Um, I and bought. In fact, I got I it bought, before I even had a player. I bought so many DVDs I could not even tell you the first one I ever bought. Um, uh, I'm I'm I wouldn't call myself like what are they what was it a cinephile? Yeah. I, I used to watch more movies that, in the past than I do now. But I have a lot of movies. Um, if if I really wanted to, I could probably line every wall with every movie I own. They're I, all boxed um, up somewhere, but I could feel Possibly me too. Uh, but I bought it before I even had a DVD player because I think at the time I had pre-ordered the PlayStation 2. And of course, I knew that the PlayStation 2 was going to have a DVD player in it. So I was like, oh, this is going to be my, like, my first DVD player. Um, I should get a DVD, you know, while, while I'm out, you know, uh, uh, looking at stuff. And uh, lo and behold, the the DVD that I saw was uh, Blade Runner, <laughs> Director Scott. <laughs> uh, which is not the final cut. It is the director's cut, which is different, slightly. Um, but yeah, that's my first DVD. I also got, uh, and I'm showing my age, um, the Tenchi Muyo OVA, uh, box set, DVD box set, the original, uh, the big one, um, was also, was like my second DVD purchase, like, ever. So there you go. There's my first, my first DVD. Who are you, sir? You got me. Little like angel monsters or cherubs. They're dead. They're dead now. But yeah, I, I couldn't tell you what my first Blu-ray was. I have no idea. Uh, the other Blu-ray that I own is Warcraft. Warcraft, the Warcraft movie. I bought I the Warcraft still movie. I have not seen that. I'm probably going to have a very uh, objective opinion about this, but I actually like it. Yeah. It diverged a lot from the 
I guess the in the established lore of Warcraft the the games you know, you kind of expected, but I kind of like the movie. Well, oh, there's the next uh, boss. It's over here. Supposedly, this boss will use a, a summon. I don't know if that's true. In fact, I'm not going to trust the guide anymore. I'm going to just look it up. Slash all. I mean, they didn't slash all of us, though. Just saying. It didn't actually hit all of us. It only hit Glenn. These are like... Silent Hill enemies, these old They're cherubs. Cher cherubs. So yes, I have two Blu-rays, Battleship and Warcraft. I have a lot more Blu-rays than that. Uh, but I haven't really bought a Blu-ray in like a long time. Like, I, I Well, I have a, I have a PS3, I also have a PS4, but I don't really get... I didn't really buy a lot of Blu-rays, but that's kind of like, I guess, the standard for, uh, I guess physical media format these days, isn't it? What is it? Blu-ray? Blu-ray, because it, yeah. it more or less w yeah. it won the media war. Basically yeah, but Blu-ray... Uh, I mean, Blu-ray might have won that particular war, but um, streaming is currently winning the, the format wars overall. Well, that that is a whole other bag of things of basically all media companies don't want you to actually own anything so that they can just take it away whenever they want. Uh, was it forced scarcity? Mm. I don't know. I I am still a big supporter of physical media. I think people should be in general because, because you're right, is that uh, you can buy something or you can, I should say, rent it from Amazon or whatever other streaming company that you use, and then they they can just take it away. Their license expires, or they decide that it's not worth having on their servers anymore, or whatever, and they can just take it away without any input from you, and now you no longer have this thing that you bought, you know, that you paid for anymore. And the same is true for games as well. I mean, they just recently, um, was it, uh, Oxenfree? The game Oxenfree? Yeah, I'm familiar. I've never, I've never played it myself. I have it, technically. I'll get into that in a minute. But, um, they sold it. I think, I don't know if it was initially they sold it or if they put it on, uh, the, uh, the itch.io store. Um, of course, it's on, like, Steam. It's on, like, other platforms now. But, um, they, they did sell it at one point on the itch.io store itch.io and um, and that's where I had it that's where I own it uh, I must have gotten it as some kind of one of the, one of their big like um, bundles that they will do every once in a while like their charity bundles um, recently they announced it's already done now this was like a couple of, couple weeks ago they announced that um, they were going to be taking it off of itch.io and normally when a game like like for Steam for instance if a game gets delisted as long as you've already as you, as you've already bought it, like you can download it as much as you want, right? As long as you like, it's already kind of in your library. Yes. But on itch.io, that's not the case. If they take a game off of itch.io, it's gone, forever. You can't re-download it. It's not part of your account anymore. It's gone. Um, and so I um I downloaded it. Downloaded to ensure that you have it. Yeah, it's only like a gig or something like that. Like it's not very big, so I it's I not a big grab game. it. But, you know, they can do that. They can do that. It sucks. But they can do that. So, I was kind of like looking at my Steam library and just kind of thinking of games that I get on Steam. And then I kind of thought, what's going to happen? It's like, let's assume Steam's going to be around forever. Like, Gaben it's, it's is... a big assumption, but sure. You know, even even beyond Gaben, Steam will just always be there. Just let's just say hypothetically, you know, it will not go away. But I will because I am mortal. My library is gonna sit there. I, I so I thought 
is, are we starting to reach a point in our in the timeline where willing putting in your will your steam library is a thing yeah many have bled suffered and perished it is your turn to die I don't get these dragons um, motivations to be honest I get wow that was that's really smooth um <laughs> oh you know what I didn't do is I didn't uh, hold on just in case you know what just in case I was gonna look it up. You know what? I'm gonna look it up. Let me look it up. Uh, what's this guy's name? Pyrotor. Does he actually cast? Uh, the thing you're looking the for. The thing, yeah, the thing that I'm looking for. Does he actually do it? Uh, oddly enough, I'm not spying on information. Usually, they're one of the um, one of the things that uh, all right, this guy does have it. This guy does have it, according to this. Uh, what? What? what golem? No. Not Gollum. 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 Oh, not that Gollum. reminds me. Apparently the demo for the Hobbit-themed game is out now. Or people have been getting hands-on. The farming one? Yes, the farming one. Uh, I only saw one article come my way, and I sort of, like, skimmed it over. Uh, the guy said he was really bored. <laughs> Some, uh, to be fair, those kinds of games can be boring if you're not into those kinds of games. He explained uh, why he thought it, uh, the, the the general gameplay was boring to him. He sort of explained it, so I, I can kind of see it. It's not it, so it wasn't a, so much a thing that he's not into those games. Is the direction they chose to make the gameplay is what made it boring. Hmm. Um, uh, growing, you know, farming, that aspect, he didn't see a need to because he could just get the ingredients in, like, the market, I guess. Yeah. So he didn't really feel a need to invest time where he could just throw money at the problem. Um, he says the cooking is a little involved, but it could have been more involved. Um, um, that's tablets. that's about Terrible. all I kind of skimmed over. So I'll probably look at maybe any other articles of people like having hands on because I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's a, another Epic Games exclusive or not. I didn't it see anyone is. say that. It probably is. I am. I am going to learn my lesson for a second time and really stick to my guns. Hey! He did it! Yoink! <laughs> Big ol' yoink! He's him mad now. He's using so many elements. Okay, um, I would like to steal from him, but... We're going to, really quick... Uh, use a cure on, uh, on Surge. Serge. Just to get rid of the field effect. I'm gonna steal from this man. Steal I from this man! Swear to God! I swear to God! <laughs> this game. 
<laughs> uh, in fact, I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm going to do this. We're just going to restart. This game, I swear to God. Maybe I should just go ahead and steal right off the bat. Because I don't think stealing is, is going to affect whether he does it or not. Uh, one of these, we have to. Probably should have given the uh, trap to someone else other than Kid, but. Well, Kid is our uh, de facto thief, so why shouldn't set so this why up. shouldn't they, she use them? Because this is gonna be red. Uh, you're gonna defend. You're gonna defend. You're gonna defend too because you need the stamina. Defend. Ouch. Oh my god, kid. Luckily her pilfer is red. Thank you. Now, for God's sake, use this stupid thing. Actually, uh, element, uh, tablet on me. It doesn't do much, but may, it, could, it could make a difference. I wish he would cast Omega Red on Glenn. Ow, I wish he would stop casting things on Surge. Um, just defend. Need to defend too. Hey! Alright, we have the steel. We have the summon steel. Now we can finally just destroy this man. For Kill God's sake. Kill this man. One, attack this man. Oh my God, uh, hit him! Hit him, you stupid son of a bitch! End this man! Let me go ahead and uh, end Deluge. Just to get us off of the full red element field. Thank you. Um, Surge, attack this man. Missed. Ow. Ow. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Get it. Okay. Good job. My tablet. Sure. Another 30 HP. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you. Great. Jesus. Um, uh, oddly enough, I want to do this just to, again, get rid of the... Glenn needs stamina real bad. There we go. Um, defend. Actually, do I have a heal all? I do have a heal all. Let's, um, let's heal all. I'm trying to set up X-Strike, but Glenn has, like, no goddamn stamina. Great. Um, Glenn. Do not miss. I swear to God. Search. <laughs> because we didn't need X-Strike. Alright, that's fine. 
I feel like Glenn was like sorely lacking in stamina there for a while. Like he wasn't gaining any. I don't know why. You gotta you gotta hit things to get stamina. No, that's element. Stamina is different. That's element. Redfield. Chris. Redfield. Let's um. I don't trust that this game is going to freeze at some point, so I'm going to do a, a cheat save. Is it cheating? I legit thought we'd be like pretty much done with this dungeon at, at this point, by the way. Maybe we overestimated what we're doing. Did attack us all actually. Well, we'll see. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see where we're at when we're uh, done with it. We will. We will be done with this dungeon. The dungeon isn't going to take all stream. Probably. It's famous last Probably. words. Probably. Oh, my God. Just hit them. Thank you. Element. I don't want to use any of these, to be honest. Because they're, they're white. So, you know, just attack this, attack this guy. I should remember to, uh... Yeah, Glenn's taking a lot of damage because he's still wearing the red plate, so I forgot to change his armor back. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We'll do it. Right now. Right now. We got some um, music now, by the way. It's I can't I can't hear it past the bell. The bell is the music. It's part of the music. Oh. All I hear is the bell. It's um it comes in kind of soft under the bell. A rainbow shell. don't want to fight these guys again. There's no reason to. <laughs> Tried to trick me. Gotta find him though. He's in the way. He's in the way. It's very, um, it's kind of ambient music. It's kind of sad. Almost sounds like a Silent Hill song. This song would be perfectly, perfectly at home in Silent Hill. And then it gets interrupted by the victory music. <laughs> Alright, could continue up there, but, um... There's a chest down here, so I gotta get it. You, you can't... You can't not. I can't not do it. I am physically incapable of not getting that chest. It's in your genetics. That's what I got from uh, Lavos' flame. That's what we got, is uh, being loot goblins. That's how we were able to um, progress as a species. Got all the loot. If this, um, if this weren't, like, a direct sequel to, I guess it's kind of a, not quite a direct sequel, but if this wasn't a sequel to Chrono Trigger, the, the, the story would make sense. I, I'm still, 
I still feel like it's it's not correct to say that Lavos like you know made humans or whatever because like again they were human they were like cave people but they were human and they would have you know they probably would have evolved the same as, as anybody else that was 65 million years ago millions of years ago glove I think this is a weapon not that Surge can use it. It is a weapon. It's a rainbow uh, shell weapon. But we don't have anybody who uses that in the party right now, so... You know, I could give it to Skelly. He uses gloves. I see that chest there. I just want to avoid these things just for time's sake. Like, they're not... <laughs> Holy healing. They're not, like, a problem in terms of being able to kill them. They're just annoying. Restores all HP and removes status effects? Yes, please. Ah, of course, there's a chest over there. Another rainbow shell. There's three rainbow shells in this one dungeon. <laughs> Maybe we should make some prism helms. That could be useful in the future. Maybe. Could this be? Viper Manor? What is going on? What is going on? Are we already here? That's what he said. We this is this looks like Viper Manor. This looks like the bridge to the library. But like, that's not where we are. Oh hi! Hi guys! What's going on? Um <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, first of all, who are you? Um, I think this is you, Lost Joke. And in fact, I think this might be a known voice. But I'm not entirely sure. Or is it me? Is this Balthazar? Um... Uh, I don't know, maybe? is the problem. Maybe? Good to see you finally made it here. Uh, you know what, you do it. Just in case. I have been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a place that does not exist. But don't mind that. Pay no attention. <laughs> More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Yeah, yeah, we know Dario's dead, I get it. Who's Dario? <laughs> oh. Who are you? <laughs> It is Balthazar. So, um, do you remember how you made, how you played Balthazar? No, it's been too long. Um, Balthazar was the one who spoke through the, um, the, the fat monster guy. The Moo. Yes, the Moo. But I don't, but he's not a Moo now. So, moo you know what? Now. You just keep on, you know what, you just keep on going with the voice you got. Ow. Oh. My, <clears throat> my my name is Balthazar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a sage of reason. Yeah. Well, that was up until Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Last time on Chrono Trigger Z. Who said that? Anyway, Me, let's just say 
Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a new dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. Okay, well, we'll just say that. There, I seized the power of opportunity to study power. the science of future. <laughs> of future. It was then... I was then able to apply that knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyways, anyway, I, anyway, this led me to make huge progress in research of time. Anyway, would you like some drinks? I've got some drinks for you. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. <laughs> nah, you blew it. You blew it, old man. Silence. <laughs> anyway, I created a compact time yeah, that I dubbed that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. Okay. Uh huh. I used but the, it to. But the epoch I used was really it to cool, create, though. Because you could fly around in it. I'm just saying. Shop. It was a plane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you whippersnapper. I used it to create the time warp again. To do this, to this age, and learn of Chronopolis and fate's plans, and to see how things were turning out. Turns out, pretty shit, actually. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Terra Tower is really a city of the reptites. We kind of guessed that. Yeah, From we, we already another got this. dimension's future. This has already been explained to us. <laughs> Listen, I spent a lot of time rehearsing this, so you're just going to have to have You have your uh, visual uh, uh, aids as well? We've gone through... We, it was in the same room, too. We've already gone through some of this. <laughs> it was originally... Dinopolis. Isn't, isn't that the name of a famous uh, book? Uh, I know it's a. It's I don't Dinotopia. know if it's the name of. It's Dinotopia is what I'm, is what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I'm talking about a movie. Oh, I don't know. The castle of Azala's descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Hot, go on. Dinopolis was drawn into this dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. Yes. This was done so that it would, I am pausing for dramatic effect, be, be in awe. The, music, the music's doing it for you, man. Just, just, just keep going. Listen, I rehearsed this. You're just going to have to deal. This is okay. done so that it could serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Okay. Again, I think we already kind of knew all this. Listen. Oh, look at those well, cool Well, did you know jets. this? Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end... Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. It's just like a cutscene from Final Fantasy XII right here. But, there's more. Okay. Go on. More important... Now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods reside. Okay, I didn't know that we had any dragon gods, but go on. There's a lot of I things mean, in, you don't know. That's in terms why of I'm like telling Chrono Trigger, I mean, like you know, they were never really mentioned in Chrono Trigger. Like, I f I felt like the Dragon Gods were like a new thing in this game. 
Listen, I have a lot of information to tell okay. you, and I'm telling you Let all Let me double-check something, though, before you continue on. Um... Very well. Uh... I will wait longer. Okay. Just, I'm just making sure that, like, I'm not... I hadn't cut myself off from speaking to the other people in here by speaking to As? you, but um, it turns out... Well, no, he was the good. first person in the room, so it kind of assumes that you're going to talk to him first. He's also, like, not transparent. That's also true. But then, fate sealed away the Dragon God's power, in effect, becoming a god itself. So, okay... As far as I can tell, the Dragon Gods came from uh, the Terror Tower, right? They came from here. Because the Terror Tower was pulled from wherever it was, from, from basically modern day or even the future of an alternate dimension where the Reptites, you know, didn't die. They, did, they prospered and they became the dominant species of, of the world. It was pulled from there and... Uh, in order to be like a, 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 a an offense against fate uh, and Chronopolis, which is what he's just said. And as far as I as far as I know, the dragon gods came from there. But because the dragon gods were there, that was like ten thousand years ago. So they like you know they've been chilling here ever since, biding their time. You know. Thus. The islands where the new godhead, Fate, existed, came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon god to eliminate Fate. No, I, I got that. I got that. I already knew that. It was not true that the dragon gods sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. Okay. In reality, the dragon gods are in opposition to man, while fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. Sure. I mean, I kind of got that. Fate did kind of turn into an asshole at the end there, though. Um, I'm not really entirely sure why. Like, I get wanting to stop me from doing stuff, but, like, you could have just killed Surge. Maybe he did. Maybe they did kill Surge in the other dimension. But, like, could have killed me in this one, too. I mean, it was in charge of both dimensions. You can't instead say that of, we didn't try. I'm just saying, instead of, say burning down an orphanage and killing all the kids there or like doing all the other stuff that it has been doing this whole time it could have just you know maybe made a little incision instead of taking a hammer to it is all I'm saying no hammers only <laughs> the dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form a living ac accumulation of the planet's energy. Okay. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. So they're not even really reptites. They're not like evolved reptites. They're just some kind of like organic machine that the reptites made in the future. In order to control the natural energy itself, Fate divided one Dragon God entity up into six weaker plasma life forms. Yeah, and now, but now they're together again. Then scatter. Listen, you're getting ahead of the explanation. I have dialogue. They paid me to be here. Who <laughs> paid you? Scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Fate! Fate paid me. Fate's dead. You're not getting paid. We killed it. Well, looks like you owe me a paycheck. Their dragon-like appearances are just pseudo-guises. Okay. Temporary forms they take so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished and its power hold was eliminated. Yeah, again, you're kind of starting to repeat yourself. Well, that changed when the Fire Nation attacked. 
All that change from Cory attacked. I've never hit a child before. <laughs> At that moment, the seven dragons who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single entity. Okay. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon that you did not. You should have killed that one. He was an optional boss. I don't think he was. I think he was just... Like the second moon that was once lost, Dalamut. but was later found. Wrong oh. setting. Okay. Although the same planet, my world did not have two moons. Look up at the sky now, and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars, and two moons. Um, I would love to look up at the sky, but the thing is, this is a, um, most of this game's backgrounds are pre-rendered. It's not really kind of a full 3D game, and I can't really look around like that, so I, I just can't, I can't look up at the sky. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. Why is it a daughter moon and not a sun moon? Listen. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the just the You don't green have to list... Kid. Yeah, it's just the green dragon. They're just... I, the thing I, is... You know, I don't, I don't I will know take why creative, he's saying... I, I would take creative liberty. The poison dragon. I don't know why he's saying fire and water when it's... when it, According to this game, it would be red and blue. Earth dragon. Well, I guess... Yellow. What, what would you call... I guess they kind of default to like say for the black dragon because like it's, what do you call it darkness well, for for green well yeah i guess um shadow um because well because e even in chrono trigger they changed the names of the elements in the american version in the original version it wasn't lightning it was sky um I, I can't remember what the other ones they changed are, but I think uh, in Chrono Trigger they use Shadow. They didn't use Black. They use Shadow, so it could have been the Black Shadow, dragon, the Shadow dragon, dragon, the Sky Dragon, and one more, the Mauve Dragon, the Final Dragon, the Dark Moon Dragon. Is that not just the Black Dragon? No, it's different. I used Dark, not Black. Dark. Okay. Okay. The one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage of fate. Okay. The child the others created on that night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold upon them. Is that um? Are they talking about the the big storm? from like what 13 years ago or whatever is that the the, the is this is has this seventh dragon only been around for 13 years i believe you you knew her as harl harl's dragon she doesn't look yes. like a dragon <laughs> just saying she looks very human you don't look like someone who listens very well either Ugh. unbelievable The dragon gods were the essence of nature on this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance upon us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate. Now it is shut up. Now it is the planet. Or vice versa. But either way, you look at it. Now's the time to set things right. Kill the planet! Yes! You must Hack kill the, the planet. planet! The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. 
the very next one because I'm pretty sure we still have like a few bosses left before the end. I'm just, I'm just saying. No, it starts now. I oh. I have deemed it so, but unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Okay. <laughs> Who? I think you know what? I think this is you. I think this is you. Hey, Mister. Is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? Why, yes, it is. Young purple haired person I've never met before. Except at least one of us is going to directly recognize you. The Chrono Cross. The melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. Okay. It has the power to transfer memories by using it as an element. It has the power to draw on the sound of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. Sorry, I couldn't read it over the the background. It's, it's a little, it's a little iffy. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. So, Lost, you're I'm getting your explanation right now, by the way. That, that was it. That was the explanation, Lost Joke. You're the if, explanation. If we can talk to them again, I, I think we'll get more, but... I'm sure we will meet again soon, and one time period or another. Okay. Be careful now, and good luck. Nope, they're gone. I really thought we were going to be able to talk to them. You were the one who said, oh, this guy was here, though. He's right there. He's the first one to talk to, so... Well. Uh, where's the... Let's see, over here, is that? see that chest up there? There is a switch. Would you push it? Forget about it. Um, so that was the explanation. It wasn't much of an explanation, Lost Joke, but that was the explanation that you were wanting. Oh, you just found um, a hole. About the Chrono Cross? You were like, do we know what those spheres are for? Do we know what they do? Well, that's it. That's what they okay, do. Okay, but how do we use them? <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? So basically, they are fully, um, they're, it's a story thing. Like it's not much of a mechanic thing. It, it it is a mechanic, technically, but it's 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 a little story it's related. a little odd that oh, we start God. seeing. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a little odd that we start seeing it like pop up as a mechanic before we even know what it is. It pops. It popped up as a mechanic because I equipped the Chrono Cross as an element. If I didn't have the Chrono Cross on, it wouldn't it wouldn't show up. I feel like this might be a clue as well, but I, it's not, um, based on what I know about it, this isn't much of a clue. Maybe if these were, like, lighting up in time, but they're not really. Like, they're lighting up, but they're not lighting up in time with anything. Oh, it's fine. Luckily, I, I guess. Um, I, I guess whatever so. we're gonna interact with, we can like play the sound before we lock in. Yeah. Let's go this way. Um. Let me check where I'm going here. Uh. Let's see. This says that they light up in a certain order, but um, I'm not seeing them lighting up in a certain order. They do light they're, up, but they're like they like double light up. Yeah, they don't seem to be lighting up the way they think. Right, well, I'm gonna go this way. Whee! 
So, um, I will tell you, because we can't really see it very well for some reason. Uh, I will tell you right now. The order of these crystals matters. The order that they're lighting up, it matters. I would figure so. Um, I will also tell you it is technically optional. Uh, it's optional-ish. You can finish the game without b bothering with this at all. Um, yeah, I really can't see them. I don't know if it's... See the red and the blue show up at the same time. For me, it was the red and the yellow. Really? I don't know. If, I don't know if I have a, a delay or not, but yeah, multiple ones light up. Yeah. Um, but apparently, actually, the, the guide actually says adjust the contrast on your television if you can't see it, which I'm not going to be doing. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But yeah, uh, the order of these crystals uh, matters. But um. We'll, uh... Ah, next boss. Let us, um... Save, and then... Okay, question. <laughs> Does Answer. the next boss actually have something? Um... Yes. This boss actually does have something according to the the wiki because I'm not trusting the guide for this anymore nope no more no more guy we're in the end game so if we want it uh, actually let me uh... we can finally use Sonia Uh, let me get rid of, because she has Red Wolf. Oh, she has another, uh, slot. Uh, I will give her, just, just burn out, and then I'll give her something else. I'll give her a different, uh, color. I'll give her maybe yellow. Electro Bolt. And then also, um, equipment. Let's give her the green plate. Why not? Return our trees. Return our trees. Return to slab. Give back our green forest. What's your offer? <laughs> That's kid. That's what kid says. What's, What's your, your offer? offer? All right. Um. Let's go ahead and get. Uh, kids attack on so that she can steal info scope sure and info scope uh, and info scope I need to um, I'm gonna do this real quick Thank you. I'm. I hope that I can get the trap off before um, this guy casts it inevitably. Jesus. <laughs> Am I done yet? You're not doing any damage. <laughs> Ooh, so um, a tickle? I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and steal right now. Thief. Thief. It's going to mess up the... Son of a bitch.
I need to double check right and make sure uh, make sure Glenn still has his trap. I think I saved after I did that. Yeah, he does. Okay. All right, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna open with Glenn and I'm gonna set the trap like immediately, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, Glenn. I'll just go make a sandwich until it's my turn again. What does Infoscope do? I think it gives uh, extra... Um, Attack toward the person you did it on. So he did it to all three, uh, three of them. Yeah. We'll go ahead and attack with her as well, just to build up that. And then Glenn. I want it. Sonya. All right. Um. Do it to Kid. Perfect. He's going to do his, like, 10-hit combo on Kid, and I'm not going to care. I wonder if he's programmed to um, attack the last person who hit him. I mean, it makes sense. Let's, uh, defend. Oh, he's going to take out Glenn. But that's fine. I've already laid the trap. Plus, Glenn is green. It's not going to do that much damage. Did a lot of damage, but not that much. Ow. Ow. Hey! It's a great fairy from... Uh, Ocarina of Time. It was a great fairy. Yeah, it's dead now. Try something real quick. Hey, we did it. All right. Thank God. Search. Attack. All out attack. It's fine. Heal plus all you want. I'm going to flying arrow you. Well, I should have saved it and done an X strike, but you know what? I'm fine. Fine. It's fine. I don't think he does Omega. The I don't think they do the Omega spells unless it has a full, um, you know, color field, so I'm not really worried about anything else right now. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so well. Great. Do we still have like two or three more of these guys? <laughs> uh. Such joyous music after a very melodic one. Hey, a save point. Thank God for that. Let's go save. If the game will let me move, which it's not. Okay. Surge up there! What about it? Sure is the top of the tower. It must be the summit! Look, those two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of ceiling device. Maybe. Maybe. Let's save. 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 
let's gonna we're gonna save uh right here. Right here. Uh reasons. I'm just kinda paranoid about it. That's basically the reason. There's no real reason. I'm just kinda paranoid about it. Um I actually don't know who we're fighting next, so I'm not gonna bother equipping stuff just yet. 